It's still the season to book a summer holiday in Europe, as so much of the middle class does, and there is now so much of the middle class. Count Paris in, of course, and then inevitably a trip up Eiffel Tower. By all means, book online, but you don't have to pay online. You can pay through your UPI app in Indian rupees. Ambassador Javed Ashraf launched a UPI in Singapore back in 2018, and he has now brought it to France. Uh, and then we thought that it uh, would uh, be best to start with Eiffel Tower, with the most iconic uh, site of, uh, of France, and in fact, one of the most iconic in the world, uh, gets about 8 million tourists a year. Uh, from what they tell me, about 300,000 to 400,000 tourists from India as well. So we started with Eiffel because we knew that once Eiffel accepts it, it creates a sort of a, a, a sort of a global image of UPI. And certainly this would be the first in Europe that would do it. And, uh, and it worked. Work, it certainly does. On the Eiffel Tower site, find the UPI mode, scan the QR code, and off you go. And up you go. The mer merchant, which is the Eiffel Tower in our case, uh, doesn't have to open an account in Indian rupees. So the Indian client pays in rupees. And which, what is interesting is that the client, when scanning the QR code, sees the exact amount in rupees that will go out of his bank account or her bank account. And uh, NPCI, so which is the National Payment Corporation of India, uh, take in charge the conversion uh, part. And we get the money, Lyra, we collect the money in euro, which allows us to transfer the money to Eiffel Tower in euro. It's not just the Eiffel Tower. Your UPI app can now pay for shopping at the iconic galleries Lafayette at the Osman store in Paris. And more such shopping through UPI is opening up around Europe. And uh, we have plans, of course, to deploy it to every places who welcomes uh, Indian tourists. And uh, not only in France, but in uh, all uh, European countries. India has reasons to promote UPI that stretch beyond Europe and tower above the Eiffel. It should eventually become a moment, uh, a, a, an instrument of remittances, as it has already become in the case of Singapore. So imagine, we get $100 billion of remittances every year, the country with the largest inflow of remittances, okay? If you're a worker in the Gulf country, you don't have to go to a, 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 an agent and spend a whole day queuing up before Western Union or a, go to a bank and then pay a massive, massive charge in order to make that transaction to remit your money. The Eiffel experiment could be the seed of an ambition beyond that too. That can the protocols and standards protocols and standards behind UPI become an international system, which is that more and more countries uh, and more and more banks, more and more central banks begin to adopt these protocols and standards, your UPI. And then it becomes a mode of international transaction. 